What is going on guys? Good morning. Welcome back. Want to see what your thoughts are on Christmas spending this year increasing six to eight percent. Now me personally, six to eight percent is a very large increase. Um, you know, because I ain't balling balling yet. Please like that video so you can help me change that. But no, in all seriousness, I'm not balling yet, so I definitely feel it. I could dang sure see it, okay? The difference, you know, the difference in the numbers, you know, as far as Christmas spending and all spending, to be honest with you. But I love Christmas. Um, Christmas is a time where you can get all of your loved ones, your friends, you know, everybody you, you mess with, you can get them all in one spot or you see them over the course of a couple days and, you know, you, you know, give yourself, give each other a little, little, little gift, you know, show a little love, get some drinks in your system. Um, and for me, you know, that's what I'm all about. So I don't, I don't see, I don't see the issue with paying the, the extra cost. Although some people may, may feel otherwise. You know, this may be a big enough, a big enough reason for them to stop celebrating it altogether. Um, and I don't judge people who don't celebrate Christmas or take Christmas as seriously as I do. I just enjoy it. Um, I've had good, a good thoughts about Christmas and good memories about Christmas ever since I was a child. Um, young adulthood, same thing. And you know, there's always a lot going on around the holiday, around the holidays. Even if you don't even like Christmas, you can still, you know, you still might get a discount for a TV because the company is just showing love. Everything's just clicking and flowing better around the holidays, except for your schedule. Your schedule's jam packed, which does kind of stink, but you know, it's totally well, it's totally worth it. You know, the juice is worth the squeeze. That's my thing. Six to eight percent, the juice is worth the squeeze. Um, and I'm not, I'm not mad at some people for being bitter towards Christmas as well you know because people have had you know years where you haven't really got as many gifts as you normally do or you might not get any gifts any one year you know and stuff happens you know um i i've i've definitely experienced that not to the point to where you get nothing but you know it just wasn't wasn't slapping as nearly as hard as them other years you get an xbox and a ps4 or like a new xbox some air forces and some other gadgets that are expensive new game boy like you know just just tons of gifts like that to just having like a handful which you know i'm grateful i had any of that growing up you know i really didn't need that much stuff anyway not that i grew up privileged i was far far from but i never went without you know um and i hope everybody you know parents if you you know because i'm a parent right um if you feel like you can't get your kid what you want or even if it's not like a parent relationship it's just a friend or or you know a, a, a partner a family member whatever if you can't do what you normally do or, you know this year it's okay man just our girl just like you know just try to get your paper up try to save you know and just get your stuff together and nobody's going to judge you as long as especially if you give them something you know um especially if you give them something because something's better than nothing you know I, I love christmas gifts from all my friends even if you know i really probably might not use it that much but most people know me so you know i'm an easy i'm an easy christmas gift buy you get me a shaker bottle i'm happy you get me like some some free samples of pre-workout that you got from an expo i'm happy you know or anything fitness related health related you know it could be that small you get me some wipes for my car i'll be happy shoot some incense for my car. I, I, it could be that simple you know and it'll get used those are the best gifts in my opinion are the gifts that get used the only crappy gifts are the ones that are up on the shelf and to look ugly you know it's one thing if it's up on the shelf and it don't look too bad and you never use it but if it's ugly it's just taking up space and somebody gifted that to you that's that's a crappy gift but you know and on one hand but on the other hand there's no such thing as a crappy gift so you know don't be out here being a-holes with these gifts neither guys because the person thought of you you know sometimes they can think a little bit harder a little bit longer but they thought of you that's that's all that counts at the end of the day um, but yeah, let me know what your thoughts are about Christmas spending going up, man. I, I, I get it, you know, because the material went up, gas to move the material and the product went up, um, you know, the laborers that are making the product, that also went up. Um, so, so I get it. It's expected. So I'm not out here tripping. It's not like they're out here eye, eye gouging, you know, on the prices. It's kind of this way across the board, you know. Uh, but yeah, man, I hope you guys have a wonderful morning. It's a great talk with you guys. I'm getting a lot better with these conversations. You know, driving and talking is a little difficult um, than, than I had uh, once thought it was. You know, it seems easy. It's, it's pretty challenging. But hey, man, I hope y'all have a good day, man. Uh, do something that's going to, you know, 
improve, improve your quality of life, whether it's financially, physically, or emotionally. You know, um, get in the game. Don't watch from the sidelines. Go for it. Um, you can't really get anything if you're not even there to be chosen or to be selected. That goes for women. That goes for jobs. That goes for friends. That goes for everything everything in life if you are not there you cannot you cannot win if you're not even competing you ain't even got a jersey on how you going how you going to win mvp of the game how you going to be in the game at all even on the bench you know you can't even be on the bench if you ain't got the jersey on uh but yeah man i hope y'all have a good day i'm getting mentally ready too for this 2023 we have a new year coming up um looking i'm very excited for it L really looking forward to it um, I hope it has a lot of blessings. I'm also looking forward to all the challenges. So please come through in the beginning of this year, aggressive towards whatever it is that you want, because that's going to carry into March. Um, you know, and March carries into the halfway point. These years, these years roll fast, guys. You can either go forward or backwards. Um, and it's very easy to go backwards. Um, and it, it does take a lot of work even for you to stay where you are. Just for you to stay stagnant, you know, uh, it, it's difficult. And I don't think people, um, you know, realize that. Even once you get something that you want or a lifestyle you want or a job or, you know, like you, now you got it, but now you got to keep it. You know, like that's... I said, it's a, it's a double-sided coin, but um, I'm getting mine and I'm keeping it. I don't know about y'all, but I'll holler at y'all, man. Have a good day. I'm out. Peace.